So in our previous video already we have discussed what is network security and how we can enable them. Now here we are going to see your how to configure your network security using your NSG called as network security group. So for that let us see how we can use this network security group to enable network level security for our network resources. So for that let us move to your portal. So uh, we are going to use our NSG that is a network security group here. Either you can find it from here network security group or you can directly find it from here through your application networks we are using here. So we are going to configure your network security group. Either you can configure it for classic portal and this is your latest one that is your portal Azure RM. I'm going to use this network security groups here. Into your network security groups already we have created three network security groups. This is as per the virtual machines you have created automatically it creates a network security group. So generally you don't find here you need to move into your networkings uh, and here we'll find this particular rule and you can see the inbound rule we have this and this is the outbound port rule we generally have over here and we are using the network security group web server one NSG which is attached to the interface right so this is the group which we are using so this is the rule which we are using same way if you move here you can add the more inbound rules over here and you can add more rules over here so this is how generally you create and you generally get your uh, inbound and outbound rules. Now if suppose I want to change it though I need to uh, detach this network interface. Once you detach this network interface you need to connect the new network interface over here and then you will be able to use the another interface. Right now it is enabled, the system is enabled, I am not able to do it. So you cannot directly change the rule because your system is going on, so your system is up. If you want to change it, first you need to uh, shut down your system, then detach your network interface, add your network interface, a new rule, then automatically it will deploy the same. Now either you can also do this like you can define the rule of your, the new rule which you have created to your VNet which we are added over here. So with this is a VNet which we have added into your RG1. So I'll move into your RG1. So this is the second method you need to, you can change your policies. So into RG1 we have our VNet1 I hope. VNet1, let us uh, search for it. RG1 VNet. So this is the VNet which we are using. So if I want to change the you know security or this particular policies for this particular VNet we can also change this particular policy from here so for that what I'll do I'll uh, check for the overview this is the overview of my complete resource which we have this is the devices which are connected so you can see this is the devices showing you the IP address of this machines which are connected and which you are using this particular uh, this particular uh, networks and uh, the policies which we have you can move into the properties of it you can see the resource group available this is a uh, subscription ID of this particular uh, you know networks we generally have and also you can check for the policies into your uh, diagram here so it will monitor it will show you which are the uh, NSGs we generally have here so you can see it is showing you the web server 2 NSG we are using into this particular network and this is the NSG right so uh, this is how generally you can create your uh, network interfaces you can set, uh, set your policies you can change the policies of particular NSG which you have created you can add the policies you can remove the policies and uh, you can protect your network so this particular policies which generally you create this particular NSG rules we generally create the, that get attached to the network interface and uh, which are the incomings and outgoing traffics into your network interface will be again managed by this particular NSG. So this will be completely applying the security on your VNet in spite of your virtual machine or any other resources. So this is how it we have seen when you set a particular policy of your VNet or your network security group. So it will be allowing the same unique policy to every uh, devices connected into that particular VNet. So here you can see these two devices are connected into VNet 
one so they will be getting the same policy both will be able to get access to the uh, this particular networks or this particular virtual machines through your port number 80 because we have allowed there so th this is how we can you know protect or you know in s define our manual firewalls on our vnet by using your network security policies here so into our next video we are going to talk about how we can provide the security onto your storages